So let's say we have a container like this, we'll discuss how to quickly edit this mesh, we have the main container as well as its lid, for the time being we can hide this, to see the inside parts of the container. Let's say we want to stretch the middle section of this container, which will change this curve or the profile of the tub, and we will also stretch the top portion along the x-axis, to give it an oval shape, instead of a perfect circle. So if we follow the traditional method, we need to go to the edit mode. Then we have to select the required vertices, along the area that we want to edit, which is a difficult job, and more so when you have an outer surface and an inner surface. These kind of edits are called destructive edits, since you cannot undo them later, but we have a simpler method, we can do this using a lattice, which we'll discuss in this tutorial. So back to the object mode, let's start from the beginning, we have to go to the add menu, and add a lattice from here. A lattice object looks like a cube, and we have to enlarge it sufficiently, in all the dimensions, in order to cover the entire mesh that we want to edit. We need to also position it correctly, so let's go to the front view mode, and move the lattice upward, it should cover the entire mesh, which means this main body, and also the lid or the cover which is hidden. We can also make it a little more bigger in width, so let's slightly increase the x and the y scale factors. So we're done with the position of the lattice, now let's select the container, and go to the modifiers tab. We can see that there are some modifiers already present here, you may or may not have any modifiers as per your model, but in either case we have to add another modifier, from the deform group, called the lattice modifier. In this modifier, in the target object field, we have to select the lattice object that we have just added. Our aim is to edit the mesh indirectly, by manipulating this lattice, so let's select it, and then switch over to the edit mode from here. We'll now edit the lattice, but since we want to stretch the middle section of our model, we need to have more subdivisions for the lattice object, so let's go to this lattice tab, and here we can see the number of subdivisions for each axis, let's increase this number to say 5. Then let's select the vertices in the middle section of the lattice, using a box select, and we have to ensure that all four vertices are selected. Now we can scale it up, or stretch it, and the mesh object will also get stretched at the same time. You can also enable proportional editing, and the falloff can be changed from here. We have covered this useful feature in another tutorial, the tutorial link is given below in the video description. If we use proportional editing, we can have a better control on the mesh. We can select any section of the lattice, and make any kind of change, the attached mesh will change accordingly, and this is quite easy to do, compared to editing the mesh directly. Now, in the next step, let's say we want to stretch it this way, along the x-axis. So we have to select these four vertices on the lattice, we won't touch the mesh at all, that's the beauty of this method. And as we stretch it, the mesh will also stretch simultaneously. But we can see that this end has also stretched slightly, as we move this handle to stretch the mesh, the other end of the mesh is also moving. But this is not what we want, so let's undo this and discuss how to rectify it. We have to subdivide the lattice further, along the xy dimensions, so let's increase these two values to 3. Now, we'll select these vertices on the lattice, but we have to select 6 vertices, instead of the 4 which we selected earlier, since the dimension is now changed to 3. If we then move this handle to stretch the lattice, we'll see that the stretching effect is active only on this side, the far end is fixed, the deformation is limited to the near end of the mesh. So we're done with this editing, now it has an oval shape, or a shape like an egg. Then back to the object mode, let's hide this lattice object from the viewport. There is one last thing that we'll discuss, in the rendered view, we can see that the material and the UV map are intact, they are perfectly adjusted along with our mesh edits, which is very nice. However, if we now unhide the lid, or the cover, we'll see that it is no longer matching with the container. But the beauty of this method is, we can add the same modifier, and use the same lattice for any object. So in the modifiers tab, we can see some existing modifiers, they were added for the modeling, we'll ignore them and add a lattice modifier. Then, in the target object, we'll select the same lattice, that we have used earlier for the main container. If we use the same lattice, we'll get the exact same deformation, and the lid will perfectly match with the container. So another helpful feature of this method is, you can edit multiple mesh objects by using a single lattice. And remember that the order of your modifiers is important, so depending upon which modifiers you use, you may need to place this modifier in the correct sequence, like at the top, and you can also apply this modifier, in order to make the changes permanent. Or you can keep it as it is, since it is a non-destructive edit, you can always modify it later, or remove it, 
or change its strength. So this is how we can quickly edit any mesh, it is one of the beautiful features in Blender, that can be really useful at times. This is similar to shape keys, but it has some advantages over shape keys as we discussed. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.